I need to stop being afraid of my fabric stash. Welcome back. I was at a little bit of a loss on what to do this week and I originally started three different projects. Three projects I'm gonna work on, which is crazy. So I'm re-filming my introduction now that I know what my direction is. You're welcome. So last week I made a Christmas pinafore just in time for the holidays. Hi, what are you doing? So now that I've made my Christmas themed video, why not just jump right into spring? This week I have decided that I am going to try to make a jumpsuit. I don't know about anybody else out there, but most of the commercially available jumpsuits are way too short in the torso. So I always end up with like a mega wedgie in the front and the back, which is never fun for anyone. I figured making one is probably a good way of at least tailoring it for my own proportions. So what I'm gonna do this week is I'm gonna take two of my favorite patterns and smush them together and try to figure out how to make a jumpsuit. Have you had enough? Ready to get down? Okay, you can stay. Oh, bye. So for this jumpsuit... And this is where my mic died. So for this jumpsuit, I'm using this fabric. I bought it for $3. There are five yards. End of story. I've had to turn my big studio light on. Now you can see me. Here's what I'm thinking for the jumpsuit, the floral jumpsuit. I think what I want to do is use the Queen's Gambit bodice pattern that I even just used last week in the Christmas video because I think it's pretty easy to step in and out of. And I'm going to pair that with the ginormous Winslow culottes pattern for the pants, but I'm gonna slim them down just a little bit. I want them to be wide leg, but not that wide leg. So I'm gonna cut the bodice patterns for things now. Okay, bodice patterns. Let's cut those out. I feel like this is the point in the video where I should do some very scholarly musing. What I'm finding is that I want to hoard all of the fabric. I find things at thrift stores and I love the patterns or the content, the fiber content, and then I get it home and it's almost like craft paralysis. If I did not buy it with a very specific purpose, then it sits in my fabric stash and it's almost like I'm afraid to use it, which is silly because in general, I only pay two or three bucks for this fabric. I think part of it is I don't want to waste anything, but I also kind of feel like I want to do that fabric justice, I guess. And if I make the wrong thing with it, then I have not done it justice. Just in thrifting stuff, I am giving it a second life. And yet I find myself just going, huh, whenever it comes to making stuff with the fabrics that I have found. So going into next year, I have decided that I am just going to throw caution to the wind and I'm gonna make stuff, whether it turns out good or bad. I need to stop being afraid of my fabric stash. I can't imagine that anybody else has the same feelings. Also, let's talk about being a beginner because I'm on Reddit a lot, especially in the sewing forum. So, hey, sewing bros. If I could give one piece of advice to newbie sewers and maybe even intermediate sewers, beyond just learning like the, the technical skills, pinning, ironing and whatnot, my number one piece of advice would be to find a couple of free patterns that fit you the way that you want them to fit and then make those until you're tired of them. Make them over and over and over and over again. And then, you know, when you get comfortable with the pattern and you can kind of do it in your sleep, then add something to it. Add sleeves to it or change the neckline. What you'll probably notice is that I use the same patterns over and over and over again. But these are the ones that in general, I think look 
the best on me and I feel like they are worth my time when I do them. And then start mixing and matching patterns. For instance, this floral thing, I'm gonna make the top of the Queen's Gambit, but I'm gonna try and attach it to the Winslow culottes. There's my advice. Take it for what you will, because it probably doesn't mean a whole lot. And that's okay, it doesn't have to. The end, rant over. As I try these on, I'm kind of seeing that they make pretty cool little vests all by themselves. When I talk about use the same patterns over and over again, but try to adapt them to other things that you wanna do, this is what I'm talking about. If I brought this up here and then put buttons down the front and maybe lengthened it just a little bit, I'd end up with a pretty cool like vest pattern. And if you've watched anything else in this channel, you know that I really struggle with like princess seams and things. So seems to fit pretty well, especially over another shirt. The end. I still want these to be like wider leg pants, but I don't need it to be this wide. I think I'm going to cut this much off the front panels and then probably a similar amount off the back panels. There should still be enough space for pleats, but not quite as much volume as this has, because this is a heckin' amount of volume. It's a lot. Yeah, we'll transfer this over to the floral fabric and get it cut out. I see the potential in this. It's kind of making me look a little big right here, but I think putting in some pleats will help with that. Put in a couple of pleats in the back. I think it's pretty dang neat. Also, I wanna do a waistband for it, and that'll kind of suck it in just a little bit. But here's where I'm getting stuck, and this is what happens when you smush two patterns together. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna get in and out of it is the big thing. I think what's gonna end up having to happen is either a side zip or a back zip. But I think, yeah, with a little like, with a little waistband on it, it's gonna look pretty cute. Give it a good press. I think it'll be pretty nice. I actually have it together. And I think what I'm gonna end up having to do is a side zip along this way. But also because there's no stretch in it, I think I'm gonna have to undo the shoulder seam and put buttons in. I have a dress that's kind of like this that's a little harder to get into. That's probably what I will do, but it's pretty thinking cute. I actually can't wait to get done with it and see what it looks like when it's all finished. I am exhausted, so I think what I'm gonna do now is go sit on the couch, do some hand sewing on this, and we will finish day one here, and I'll see you on day two. Hello and welcome to day two. Yesterday was actually pretty productive. I managed to get everything cut out and sewn together. And then once I stopped for the night, I sat on the couch and I did some uh, hand sewing, just tacking down kind of the belt, as well as putting in the zipper. And the zipper, I just needed to sit down and kind of finagle it a little bit, but I've got it hand sewn in so I can see how well everything fits. So I guess my goals for today are, one, I need to try it on and see how it's fitting. And then two, if it fits well, and I pray that it does, cause I don't wanna make any alterations to the size, I need to hem the collar, arms, and then the cuffs. And then it should be just about done. The other thing I had to do was on the side with the zip, I had to unpick the shoulder seam because I think what I'm gonna need to do is put buttons in there so I can like button up the shoulder seam just so I can get in and out of it because this fabric has no stretch at all. That's my plan for today. Hopefully I can get that zipper permanently installed and hem everything up and make it look pretty and then we'll do the reveal. So I hope it works out. But first we gotta try this thing on. Here comes the moment of truth. Oh no. Zip up, please zip up. Oh, oh, I think it's gonna work. Oh, I did it. Okay, cool. So it zips up. The fit is 
around the waist is almost perfect. I need to put in some buttons on this guy. I'm trying to figure out how much overlap I have because last night I was thinking if I didn't have enough overlap, I would have to put in like a an extension panel up here, but I think I've got enough overlap. I did put a pocket on the right side, not on the left because that's where the zipper is, but you can see the zipper. And then I left the little tails of the belt a little long because what I want to do is have it button right there. Kind of like a nice decorative thing, I guess. I don't know. I might put a real button right here and maybe a fake one over here. I don't know. I haven't decided. Looking pretty snazzy. I don't want to show you the whole thing because that's what the reveal's for, but yeah. Big question will be, will I actually wear a full floral jumpsuit? Eh, but we'll find out. I can't wear it if I don't own it, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to figure out the shoulder that I think is number one and then do up the rest of the tacking and finish this shit up and then wait for spring so I can wear it. Cool. Winning. I learned how to put on buttons with my machine. This is very exciting. I just wanted to share that with everybody because that's kind of a big deal. So I've got the zipper sewn in correctly. Now all I need to do is hem up every raw edge and I usually do that by hand so that's gonna take just a little while but then we will do the reveal. So I think the next time you see me will be in the reveal. So let's see how this goes. What do you think? I think it turned out pretty stinking cute. And it actually turned out a whole lot better than I thought it would. I don't normally wear patterns like this. So this is a little more girly than I'm used to, I guess. But it's definitely something that I'm going to wear. And like I said, overall, the pattern went together a lot faster than I thought it was going to. I think having already done both the Winslow culottes and the Queen's Gambit bodice pattern before really helped the whole process along. And really the tricky part was figuring out how to put the two together. But that actually was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Again, the whole process is surprisingly easy. I don't wanna say easy because me six months ago probably would not have found this to be easy. Maybe that's a testament to how I have grown and developed. If you found this at all helpful, <laughs> at all helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what helped you out and maybe what you would wanna see next time. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. It really does help me out and lets me know that this is the kind of stuff you guys want to see. So until next time, who knows what I'm going to do. Thank you for tuning in and uh, let me know what you want to see in the future. And maybe I'll work it out for you. Bye. <laughs>